day four today. <laughs> I didn't get to film that much yesterday because I got a migraine. Um, I'm not that used, I'm not really used to being on my phone a lot, so I think I was, I was just a bit overwhelmed, so, um, I slept at 7 p.m. and woke up today at 6.30. I'm feeling a lot better now, which is nice. Um, this is so I'm charging my phone as well. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better, and I'm going to get ready to have some breakfast. See, I think they dropped off my coffee. Oh, they did. Thanks. person like I like breakfast food but I don't like to eat breakfast <laughs> normally my first meal would be around like noon time so I think what I'll do today is um, do a little get to know me video well Maybe I'll do my hair, straighten it, curl it, I don't know. I just, <laughs> just something to do, you know. I would say do my makeup, but I don't know how to do my, my own makeup. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Let me just finish my coffee. All right, so I'm ready to do my hair. Um, I wrote down some questions in my journal um, to answer while I do my hair. I pick these questions without thinking about the answers ahead of time, so I'm excited. I think I'm gonna curl my hair. Even though I have nowhere else to go. First question is what is my full name? I'm just gonna say my full first name. It's a lot easier. So my full first name is Maria Catherine, um, but I go by Kate. How tall are you? I am 5'3", five 5'3". Three, five three. I'm not that tall, even though people think, or people say that I look tall in pictures. I'm really not that tall. What is your zodiac sign? I am a Leo, fire sign. Um, my birthday is on August 3. Oh, you guys, I'm not that good at doing my hair. How old are you? I'm 29 years old right now, and I'm turning 30 in two weeks. And I'm so excited because it's going to be my first birthday back in the Philippines since I was 11 years old. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have one younger brother, his name is Noah, and I love him, he's so funny, and <laughs> I actually cried before I left, um, before I left LA because of how much I, I was going to miss him. What is my favorite color? Growing up, I've always said that my favorite color was red. But that's only because I, I thought like that was everyone's favorite color and I was just jumping on the, the wagon. Um, red, red is a good color. But then I realized that the one color I'm really crazy about is yellow. So my favorite color is yellow. 
What's my favorite food? Mm, I love, I love sushi. Me and my brother, oh my god, we're obsessed with sushi. Um, okay, I'm trying not to say um a lot. I just, it's hard. <laughs> What is your favorite or my favorite movie? All of the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> Wherever I am in the world, or anywhere at all, if Harry Potter is on TV, I will always have it on. Like that's the only channel it'll ever be on. Who are is my favorite band or singer? My favorite band is McFly. I've known them or I've started I started listening to them when I was I think 13 or 14 years old. So back when I was in middle school and I've been obsessed with them ever since. Every morning before like on my way to work, I always play their new song called Happiness. And that's kind of like my I guess you can say like my ritual going to work is that's the first song I always play in my car. Kind of gets me in the mood. It just makes me happy. Your favorite show of all time? Friends. Hands down, it's Friends. I'm one of those people that can quote the show from season one all the way through season 10. I just love Friends. What's the weirdest excuse have you ever used to get out of work? This was when I was working at Target. I called them and said that I had, I told them and I said that I have a pink eye and that I wouldn't want to get anyone, um, I, I, that I didn't want anyone to get it so I said, Hey, I'm sorry, I can't come into work. I have a pink eye. <laughs> what position do you sleep in? If you had a warning label, what would yours say? Annoying. I know Ning would say the same thing. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> have you ever used a fake name? Yes, I have. Whenever guys come up to me on the street or at a club or anywhere I've said I've used the name Crystal Vanessa I think that's it Crystal and Vanessa those are my go-to <laughs> whenever people ask me for my name if you could be a part of a video game what would it be I think Noah would know the answer to this one it would be Animal Crossing. I love Animal Crossing. Does that count? That counts as a video game, right? What is your biggest regret in life? I live my life with no regrets. Um, as cheesy as that sounds, I do my best and I, you know, have lived my life without any without having any regrets because every decision I've made in my life has brought me to this point. So yes, no regrets. No regrets. If you could send a message to the entire world, what would you say to everyone? I would say just to be kind to one another. You know, you don't know what people are going through and if you think about it, we're all just passing by. Life is short, so why would you spend your energy making someone else's life miserable? That's just, you know, it's not worth any time or energy. What is something you'd recommend for people to do? This is something that I do or I try to do every morning. Every morning when I wake up or or before I go to bed, I think about at least three things that I'm grateful for the day. 
just an example for the other day. I wrote it in my journal. I'm going to read it to you. Okay. July 19th, I wrote, Today I'm grateful to have already been in the Philippines for 24 hours. I'm grateful for my family who looks out for me and makes sure that I have food to eat. And I'm grateful for the coffee I'm drinking this morning. So it could be like, it doesn't have to be anything grand, you know, it could just be like, you know, one time I wrote, I'm grateful that, you know, on my way to work, all the traffic lights were green. Or, I'm grateful for, oh my god, I almost burned my face. <laughs> I'm grateful for the parking I found today because it was closer to home. You know, it doesn't have to be anything big, just things that, you know, you, you were happy about. Have you ever had reoccurring dreams? Yes, I have. Last year, I was actually supposed to come here to the Philippines um, around November. A few months before that, so like, I think it started since last September, I was having dreams that, dreams of me being at the airport or yeah, me, just me being at the airport and every single time my, in my dream, that's where it would end. Just me being at the airport, whether I forgot my ID or my passport or anything. It was always, I always dreamt that I was at the airport going to the Philippines, but I never go. November came, I had to cancel my flight because it was just, it wasn't, back then it was more strict to travel and not as safe because I wasn't vaccinated at the time. I am now. But yeah, that was a reoccurring dream that I had. Then the beginning of this year, I would say around March or April, was when I started having dreams that, you know, I'm, I'm at the airport and I actually get on a plane and I get here in the Philippines. So yes, I actually, I love dreaming. I love when I have dreams. I can actually control my dreams. I can't control, obviously you can't control, or I can't control what I'm gonna dream about, but once I'm in that dream, I'm able to control it 90% of the time. So if, if I were to have a bad dream, I would always make sure that I don't wake up until until I've given that dream a good ending. What what scene in a movie has never failed to make you cry? Um, okay, there's two. One of them is in Harry Potter. and the Deathly Hollows part one. And it's the scene where, I mean, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Harry Potter, um, the scene where Toby dies. I just, every time I watch that scene, even if I rewind it, I just, it always makes me cry. The other one is in Finding Dory, that scene where she, <laughs> that scene where she finally reunites with her parents, I can relate to that scene so much because if you guys didn't know, I, I had to go back to the Philippines and be apart from my parents for two years and that was very hard for me both me and my parents because I was just about nine years old 
So when I came back to the US, I was, so yeah, I was nine at the time when they sent me back to the Philippines and I was 11 when I finally reunited with them and met my brother. And yeah, that scene in Finding Dory just gets me because I, I'm reminded of the time that I finally reunited with my family. I'm a sucker for happy endings or anything that's happy. I just I cry a lot. I cry all the time. Uh, road trip or flying? I prefer road trip. I love a good long drive. I love driving. Um, so whenever there's like I'm going on vacation with my family or friends, it's, it's usually me who drives because I just love it. Except when I'm with Cecilia, <laughs> some reason, it's just, you know, it's just better when she drives. Or, you know, when, when she's tired, then I'll take over. What is going on? Um, city or countryside? Countryside. I don't, I don't like being in the city. Like where we live in LA, we live um, in North Hollywood, that's good enough for me. Anywhere like in Hollywood or anywhere near Hollywood or downtown LA, it's too much for me. Like I can't, I can't see myself living there. I like peace and quiet. Have a plan or go with the flow. I'm definitely the type to have a plan. I, I, I usually go with the flow when, when I have to, but I like having a plan. I like knowing what we're going to do or what time. I just, I just prefer having a plan, but if we don't, it's okay. You know, it's not the end of the world. Hot or cold? Definitely cold. I don't par particularly hate summer because that means I get to go to the beach and that's when my birthday is. Um, I just prefer the cold because I get migraines a lot during the summer and who likes to, who, who likes getting migraines, right? So yes, I prefer the cold because whenever I'm cold, I can just bundle up. But in summer, what, can we walk around naked? can. Uh, okay, gold or silver? Gold. Hands down, gold. Sweet or sour? Mm. I love when my, go my face goes like this. So yes, sour. I love sour. I hope this isn't too boring for you guys. I really am just trying to find something to do to keep me entertained um, and again documenting my quarantine life in the hotel um, how would your best friends describe you to see go ahead answer this question how would you describe me what keeps you up at night so I have this irrational well maybe it's not irrational but I just have I have this fear of going to sleep. Um, I don't know, I just fear like when I finally go to sleep, like what happens? I, I have this fear of the unknown. I don't like not knowing what happens. So sometimes I force myself to stay awake because I, I just can't like let myself let my mind go like that it's really weird but yeah that's what usually keeps me up at night okay the front part is always crucial it's always a hit and miss with me have you ever had a stalker yes i have i've had this guy follow me around back when i was working at target he was very, very creepy, very, very just, uh, he just, 
I actually have gotten a few anxiety attacks at work because of that guy. You know, it led up to security having to follow him around. Um, my dad actually had to, even though I was already driving at the time, my dad had to go to my work and follow me home, like driving home to make sure that no one else was following me. Like it was bad. The guy came back to work and like a few months later and saw me and again he followed me around and there was this time where I'm you know putting away things at work and I see him from my peripheral where it just shows half of his face half of his body just like watching me while he's sipping this coffee that oh I get goosebumps just thinking about it that was a little too much for me and I had to call security and security handled it from there and ever since that day he never came back or at least I never saw him how long does it take you to get ready for work <laughs> honestly guys I normally don't even do my hair so normally the usual time that I get to work is 8 30. I will wake up at 7 50 in the morning and be out of the house by eight o'clock so just 10 minutes so I get up I brush my teeth I get dressed and I leave literally just takes me 10 minutes to get to work or to get ready for work last question is your glass half full or half empty I'm definitely a half full type of person. I like seeing the good in everything. I love seeing the good in people, no matter how bad things get. I just like to stay positive. All right, so here's my hair. It's not the best, but I, I, did, I did try. Um, now it's time for me to party in my hotel room. Maybe I'll put my hair up like this. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm like looking for my hair tie. You're probably thinking, why curl your hair if you're just gonna put it up, right? Did I just waste my time? I think that looks good. I know some of you are wondering if I still speak Tagalog. I, I'm still very fluent in Tagalog. It's just that when I'm by myself, I tend to speak in English and I have some friends who are obviously not Filipino, so I have to you know, speak in English so that they can understand. But when people speak to me in Tagalog, I always reply in Tagalog. And what else? Yeah, don't don't be nervous or scared that <laughs> I'm not gonna understand what you guys are saying to me because I still like that Tagalog pa ko. Yun nga lang. Siyempre, pag mag -isa, I'm used to uh, talking in, in English. But yeah. Oh, and by the way, my my tita sent me food, which was really nice of her because it's pouring rain and I told her she can just do it tomorrow, but she still sent me food and I'm going to show you guys her right now. There she is. That's my tita Juby right there with the umbrella and red bag in front of Chowky. Thanks for the food. She has to commute in this rain just to drop me off some food. Appreciate it. I just wanted to show you guys the food that my aunt um, dropped off. Some bananas. Oh my god, are you ready? Ah, so good. Mm, I'm so excited. And 
Guys, tell me you're Filipino without telling me you're Filipino. Is there ice cream in here? No, it's cunning. <laughs> and oh my god, I'm so excited for this double Dutch rocky road. <gasps> Ta da! <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Tita Juvie. I'm gonna have a great lunch today because of you. Yes, I'm so, I'm so lucky that I have family that cares so much about me, right? Anyway, I guess I am going to end my vlog here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.